Welcome to a special edition of Kingdom Connection with Pastor Jensen Franklin. Church has become quite a production these days. While all the programming and professionalism help to meet the lost and hurting where they are and connect powerfully with the heart of God's people, sometimes the most powerful services are where things get simple. We listen to the Spirit and respond in worship and prayer. And in so doing, we encounter God together, experiencing timeless community as the children of our loving Father God. Free Chapel recently held such a prayer night, and we wanted to share it with you, our podcast family. We hope this will encourage you today and draw you closer to the person of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, I praise you tonight. I praise you tonight. I praise you tonight. I give you glory. I give you honor. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's begin to pray right now and praise his name. Praise his name. Let's pray the Lord's prayer. And we're going to enter into his presence with praise. And so out loud, everybody pray the Lord's prayer. The first line with praise, we say our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now just throw those hands up and begin to praise his name. Praise his name, praise his name. The name Jehovah Jireh, my provider. I will not worry, you will provide. I will not fret, you will provide. I will not stress, you are Jehovah Jireh. You will provide, you will see to it. You will meet the needs, and I give you glory, and I hallow your name. I hallow your name, O Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals me. Oh, I praise you, Lord. I praise you. I praise you. And we give you glory and honor that you are our righteousness. You are our success and our banner, Nissi. You are, O God, our Jehovah Elohim, the creative one. And we praise you, God. We praise you. We praise you that you are, O Lord, Jehovah Shalom, our peace. We receive the peace of God. We receive peace in our homes. We receive peace in our families. We praise you for the peace, God. Peace in our souls. Peace in the midst of the storms. Peace, O God, that passes all human understanding peace about the circumstances and situations that we fretted and worried about. We receive the peace of God into this room. We thank you, Father, for peace. And we hallow your name. We praise your name. For God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow of things in heaven and of things in earth and of things beneath the earth. And so tonight we hold high and exalt the mighty name of Jesus. We come before you and cry, Abba Father. We come and approach in the name of Jesus. Oh, we love that name. We honor that name. We give praise and glory to that name. We want our lives to exalt that name. We want our lives to never shame that name. Oh, may the name of Jesus be exalted in our lives and in this church, in this ministry. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Richard, lay your hands on those prayer requests that have come in in the last week or so. Some of you lay your hands in the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. Broken families, broken needs. Only Jesus can heal. Only Jesus can save. But there's healing in the name of Jesus in this room right now. Healing of cancer. Healing healing of heart disease. Healing of COVID. Healing, healing, healing of diabetes. Healing of uh, of migraine headaches, tormenting migraine headaches, healing in the name of Jesus, healing of lumps and healing of, uh, of, of growth in the name of Jesus, healing, healing, healing of immunity systems, healing, healing of feet. Hallelujah. 
Somebody's being healed right in the center of your foot. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Like a pain right in the middle of your foot. Where you, I don't know how I'm saying this, but right there on that part of your foot where the main part of your foot, the forefront of your foot is being healed in Jesus' name. I want to be very specific with that one. Hallelujah. And it's in the name of Jesus you'll run and not be weary. And you'll walk and not faint. And he's given you your mobility back. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Just raise your hands and worship him. He's here right now. Hallowed be thy name. Reverence and honor and praise be to your name. Let's just camp right there one more minute because there's power in that name right now. Reach out and receive in the name of Jesus. Right now, right now, right now, right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's pray the priority. Let's establish the priority. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So God's will is done in heaven and there's no sickness in heaven. The Bible said that. There's no tears and sorrow in heaven. There's no sin in heaven. There's no addiction in heaven. There's no fear and depression in heaven. There's no poverty in heaven. So let's establish the priorities of God right now and boldly just pray right now. Thy kingdom come. Everybody ready? Thy kingdom come. So lift your hands. and You know what the Bible said? The kingdom of God is. It's not meat nor drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, and joy. How many of you would like those three things to hit your family today? Righteousness, that means right standing with one another and with God. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. All right, let's receive it. Say, come kingdom, come kingdom of God, because your prayer is the ladder. And tonight we're going to establish Jacob's ladder that he saw angels going up and down on. And they're bringing righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So, Father, we establish the kingdom of God. We pray thy will. Come on, pray it. Thy will be done. Thy will. And, Lord, I thank you for your will. I thank you for your will to be done, your kingdom to come to Courtney and Tyler and Amelia and Elliot. I just decree they will walk in the favor and the goodness and the blessing of God and do the perfect will of God. Where you lead them, they will follow. They will serve you all of the days of their life. And Ben and Carissa and Luca and Leo, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your will will be done in their life. I thank you they are blessed and not cursed. I thank you, God, for miracles, signs, and wonders. I thank you, God, that you're the God of all families. And thy will be done. Come, kingdom. Come, kingdom. Come, angels, warring angels, and fight. Fight for our families. Fight for our children. Thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. Lord, I pray, I pray for Caroline and her husband. In the name of Jesus, your will be done in her life and in his life and her children to be. I pray for Connor. I pray for Aaron. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. My children belong to the kingdom. Their gifts belong to the kingdom. Move, 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 move in our homes, move in our family. Lord, I decree thy kingdom come, thy will be done over Drake and his future wife. Hey, God, lead him and guide him. 
Oh God, thy will be done. Thy kingdom come. Oh Father, I thank you for it. Over Sharice, I bless her. And I thank you, Lord, that thy kingdom come. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost on that girl. And Lord, I thank you in the name of Jesus for your will being done in Sharice's life and in Pat and in my mother and in all the rest of our family. Oh God, release the will of God. Thy kingdom come in Jesus' name. Now raise your hands and shout because you've established priority. Glory, 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 glory. Come on, praise him right there just a minute like he's already done it. All you young people who prayed that, you just set up ordered steps. You just set up open. God, angels are going in your future. Angels are going down. You'll meet people you never dreamed you would meet. Things and opportunities will come that you didn't see coming. But when you pray like that, it's established. Everything here came out of that prayer. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day our daily bread. Raise your hands and declare the provision of God. You know, we serve a God who blesses his people. He cares about your provision. He told Peter when he was stressed out about his taxes, he said, go fishing. And he called a fish. in his mouth and paid his tax bill. He told Elijah in the middle of an economic downturn like you wouldn't believe. Don't worry about it. I got a dirty bird that's going to bring you steak sandwiches three times a day. Read the story. And every morning and every night he brought in one claw fresh bread and steak in the other and he ate it for three years through the famine. Don't tell me God can't bless you. Don't tell me God doesn't care about your needs. He cares about the car you drive. He cares about the shoes on your feet. He cares about what you have and what your family needs. So raise your hands and shake off poverty. Shake it off loser mentality. You are not a loser. You're called and you're blessed and you're anointed and you're chosen to win. You know what? Some of you who are blessed don't think that's spiritual because you've forgotten where you came from. But when you don't have it and you need it, it's very spiritual. Never put somebody down for praying for their needs to be met. I want you just to rejoice just a minute because he's going to bless the work of your hands. I want you to rejoice because you're about to get real busy. I want you to rejoice because you're probably going to have to add on and get some help. And you may even have a dream inside of you that you had not launched yet. And there might even be a business in you that you don't even know about. And there's probably an investment down the road that God's getting ready for you. And it could be a lifetime harvest. You say, oh, come on, preacher. Don't tell me to come on. God is exceeding, abundant, above all you could ask or even imagine. We pray too small. So raise your hands like you believe he's going to bless you and just shout for a minute. Just shout for a minute. 
just shout for a minute. Just proclaim His goodness. Say you're a good God. Say you're a good God. You're a generous God. You're, you bless me. You bless me with provision. We're going to keep going. Let's pray pardon. Forgive us our sins, our debts, as we release those who are who have debted and sinned against us. So right now, just, just decree that and say, Lord, I ask you for forgiveness for everything I said and I've done that was wrong, that displeased you and dishonored you. I'm so sorry. Anything that I've done that's dishonored my family, anything that I've done or said that did not bring glory to Jesus Christ, I just repent. Anything, Lord, that, that is not pure in my heart, Give me a clean heart and a right spirit. Isn't that beautiful? Pray that. Give me a clean heart. I really want to be clean. I want to have the right spirit. I don't want an ugly spirit. I don't want a hard spirit. I don't want a callous spirit. I don't want a spirit that's off. I, I, I don't want, I don't, I want a right spirit. I want to be right. I want people to feel a good spirit when they get around me. Forgive us. Come on, forgive our nation, forgive America, forgive us, Lord, forgive us for the division, forgive us for the sins, forgive us, God, for the abortions, forgive us for the lies and the deception, forgive us for the hatred, forgive us for the division and the injustice, forgive us, God, forgive us our sins, forgive us, oh God, as a church. Forgive us for making it about other things other than you. Forgive us, Lord. We repent tonight. We come seriously before you. And we ask you to wash us and cleanse us and forgive us our debts. And we release forgiveness. Come on. Now, right now, if any face or any name comes before you, that's exactly who you need to pray. And pray right now. Just lift your hands and say, God, by your grace, with the same pardon you give me, I pardon them. I release them. I, I, I do not hate them. I will. I wish no evil on them. I am willing, Lord, to, 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 just, to just look at that in a different way. And I'm asking you to change my heart and my spirit if it's not right concerning that person. I mean it. Come on, pray. This is important. This is important. Some of you will be healed the moment you release someone that you have refused to forgive. You will be healed instantly if you will. The Lord says tonight I will heal people under the sound of my voice if you will but confess and release un the unforgiveness from your spirit and release forgiveness to that person. Jesus Pardon, pardon for the sinners, pardon for those who've messed up, pardon for those who failed. May they be washed in the blood of Jesus. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Pardon. Lead us. into temptation but deliver us from evil this is power everybody receive the power of the Holy Ghost receive the power over temptation receive the power to make a wise decision receive the power to do right to live right no secrets no dark places no things no 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 in the name of Jesus lead us not into temptation pray that you enter not into temptation God, I pray for the sin-killing power of the blood of Jesus Christ. 
Let the power of God come back to the church and give us power over all the power of the enemy. Lord, we take authority over the evil one. We take authority over principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness and the rulers of darkness and high places. We take authority tonight. We take authority, God, and we ask you for your power to be released. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Send up a great praise and give God glory. Give him glory. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him thanks. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He has done great things. He has done great things. Oh, he has done. With as little as a dollar a day, you'll be helping us reach further than we've ever been before. To become a part of this ministry, your support helps us preach the gospel to over 200 nations around the globe, produce inspirational resources, and continue support for outreach projects. 
All donations received through a campaign are subject to redirection at the discretion of the organization.